this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, pretty small card using waste products from the delicate frame. And what I mean by waste is that the previous project we did making the JND 436 delicate frame left some pieces behind. These are the pieces that we had left. So we got the square from the middle of the frame. We also got a square from the middle of the dark frame, but I'm not using that. We got this piece, which is from cutting the detail. And we got these two pieces. And I wanted to show you how we can use these waste pieces or pieces that come out from that project to make a second card. So as most of these are already cut and have got the beautiful finish to them, we're going to sort of focus on the center panel. So I'm just gonna take the detail panel from the middle of the delicate frame, along with the outside line. And again, a long piece of tape, pick up the middle panel, pop it onto the square and run it through. And we'll run that through the die cutting machine and that will give us this perfect panel here but it will also give us a lovely square frame, which can be used again for another project. So pop that to one side in your sort of bits box to use for something else. But we have then this beautiful piece here. So putting this card together is actually really, really simple. Because the square came from the same die as this, we pop those two together and we get this section here. So it's just a case almost of layering this together. So I've got a little card here and this is five by five and I've just put a mat of yellows and white onto this. Again, you don't need to do that at all. So I'm going to take the clotted cream piece, which again is a waste piece. And I'm just gonna pop that into the center there. I'm then going to take the yellow sort of zigzag or curved piece again. This is left over from the previous project. Again, we've got foam tape on here and I'm just gonna mount that into the center. I'm then going to take the panel that we've just made and I'm going to pop that one on, just like that. You see how everything mats and layers perfectly. I've then got one of the sentiment ribbon tags on a little piece of ribbon here, again in the matching yellow, just so I think that looked beautiful on the center. So all I'm going to do is open the card. I'm then going to take a line of power tape. And I'm going to put that in exactly the center so I can use the marks on my board. So one, two, three, four. So there is the center line. And that's one of the easiest ways to make sure you get things nice and centralized. So we'll just trim that down. I can then take my panel, get that nice and in the middle, make sure I'm happy with it, turn it over. I'm then going to simply reveal my tape and wrap these two pieces around and onto so that the center is as attractive. You don't want the inside of the card to be ugly, so we just allow those two to meet up perfectly there. So we're not losing anything there. And then we've got our beautiful little sentiment. And I've just taken three of the smallest flowers made from the scarlet flower which is the JND441 scarlet flower and I'm just going to add those on just to decorate this and kind of finish it off. I'm just going to put that one up there a little bit so you can still see the sentiment but you've got those little flowers on and there we have a really small but cute card made with the waist from making this card. And this, you see, almost fits inside the center. So the waist from this one makes us this one. 